with Dana Milbank from the Washington Post. Dana, why are you in Sioux Falls? Well, I came out to Sioux Falls because suddenly you guys have an interesting Senate race out here, and nobody expected it would be, and it's because of this guy Pressler, who uh, was in the Senate when I first came to Washington uh, uh, back in the 90s, and uh, boy, it looks like he's really shaking things up here, so I'm going to uh, do a column on him and the race. Any other impressions about the race in South Dakota? And uh, I know it has national implications if it stays Democrat or goes Republican or if it goes independent, but... Uh, anything that you've come across so far that you find particularly interesting? Well, the real question seems to be, South Dakota, like every, everywhere else, is so polarized. You know, the uh, Republicans have gone far to the right. Uh, Democrats, to a lesser extent, have gone pretty far uh, uh, to the left. So where does that leave everybody else? And Larry Pressler saying, all right, is there room for a centrist, or, or is it just like the money and the system are all stacked uh, against such a possibility. You now, you know, I suspect it probably is stacked against it, but at the very least, he's made them, he's made people ask the question. He's shaken up the race. So, in a sense, uh, even if he doesn't win, uh, it's a victory to show that there's uh, there's some running room here. Are there miscongeniality prizes in politics, Dana? Really? Are there what? Miscongeniality. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, I can't think of too many candidates I'd, uh, I, I'd like to uh, award that one particular one to. But uh, uh, Pressler was quite uh, well-liked when he was in Washington uh, by people on both sides. And what's happened since then is uh, people just, uh, uh, everybody's in town for two days, three days, gets back out of town. They never really sit down and have a meal, have a drink, get to know somebody, particularly somebody uh, uh, of the other party. So they've stopped realizing that they're all Americans and they're starting to see each other as enemies, which is just crazy. So is this Mr. Smith goes back to Washington? Right. Well, that's the question. So is this a, you know, is Larry Pressler a throwback or is he the future? That's, uh, that's the question I'm trying to ask. And so far, what conclusions are you coming to? Uh, uh, <laughs> my conclusion is that there is a uh, a, a hunger for something other than the politics that we've got right now, but I don't think there's yet a mechanism to uh, uh, to get somebody who's not uh, uh, following the party line into office. All right, Dana, thanks for coming to South Dakota and seeing about our Senate race. It's a great pleasure to be here, and I'm glad to know it's always uh, beautiful and sunny like it is today.